Welcome to Elven Acres Farm. This is the first time I'm doing a voiceover after the fact for a video. That's because this was in no way a planned video, and taking video is definitely not the priority. This happened on Friday, December 30th, 2022. I was taking a use it or lose it vacation day before the new year. I had been out earlier in the day and noticed that a neighbor down the road was doing some burning. It looked like it might have been a bit out of control and I didn't see anyone around, so I stopped by their house. I spoke to the farmer's wife and she confirmed that they were doing a burn and that her husband was out there managing it. I went home, but kept my eye on the smoke in the east. It was a windy day, a bit more windy than I would think would make for a good controlled burn day. Around lunchtime, I noticed some smoke and fire in my direct neighbor's field. It turned out he had decided to do some burning that day, and it was getting out of control. I had Marianne load up the kids in the van and head to town, both for safety and so the kids didn't have to see anything happen to our property. I called 911, but multiple times they said that I couldn't, that they couldn't send anyone out unless the fire was on my property, and that they had spoken with my neighbor already, and they'd said that they were, it had it under control. I could tell it wasn't under control, and that it was heading for my property. As soon as the fire looked to be clearly on the property, I was on the line with 911 again, and this time they told me they had already sent someone out. Soon after, the brush fire truck showed up, pulled onto my property, and quickly had the fire knocked down. A brush fire doesn't have too much energy of its own. It can only burn as much as there is fuel to feed it. So once they got the water sprayed on the fire line, it was pretty well out. Had they not showed up when they did, all the grass in my field would have burned up quickly, especially when the winds got worse. And while it may not have burned down our house, since the field is set back enough, it probably would have gone right up to the barn and burned it to the ground. I had let all the chickens out of the coop so that they could at least have a chance of getting away. All in all, thank God, the damage to our house was, to our property was minimal. The T post that you see, I planned to pull out anyway. But it was quite the scare that day. Make sure that you always have a plan for wildfire on your property. Know what actions you're going to take and what the priorities are. In our case, the first priority was to protect the family. Protecting our house and, the and having the van away from danger were totally secondary. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.